Hi, I'm Damien, a bartender here at Liquid Kitty in West LA, California. And we're gonna talk a little bit today about the Lemon Drop Martini. Uh, Lemon Drop was developed in the 80s, uh, around the same time as the uh, Cosmopolitan, and uh, it's in the, that family of martinis that are not really martinis, but are served in a martini glass. Um, but basically, I think it was New York City in the 80s that it was developed, but it's been popular around the country for years. Um, first thing I want to start with is a cold martini glass. I have a martini glass in the ice. Normally, uh, we have a fridge full of cold martini glasses, but today I'm going to ice it uh, on its own. So I'll actually put the martini glass in the ice, or put ice in the martini glass. Let it sit for a little bit with some uh, soda water in it. I'll take a shaker glass. Fill it with ice. Start with, uh, traditionally you use a lemon flavored vodka. We use Absolute Citron here at the Kitty. So we'll take a little Absolute Citron. We pour a little heavy here, so that count is about three ounces of alcohol. We'll take sweet and sour and triple sack. It's about an ounce and a half of each of those. Uh, some places will put sugar in it. It's already kind of on the sweet side because the, the triple sack is very sweet. And our sweet and sour can be on the sweet side. It's sour, but it's also got a little sweetness to it, hence the name. So I, won't, I don't add any sugar to ours. Some places you'll find they'll add sugar. I think it gets a little too sweet. Now our glass is nice and chilled. You can see it's got a little frost on it. What I'll do is I'll rim the glass with a, with a, or with a uh, lemon that has a little slice in it. So I'll rim it to give it a little bit of lemon juice around the rim. And here's a little trick. If you don't have a dish of sugar to sugar the rim, I'll take a sugar packet, I'll open one end, and then I'll split it at the end that's sealed so that it's open on, two, on two, two of the four sides. And then I'll take the glass and I'll just slide it through the sugar. And you get a perfectly sugared rim. Use that same lime, uh, lemon as garnish. Give this a really good shake. I'll take my strainer and strain it into the chilled, sugared rim martini glass. A good pour will leave a little bit off the top so that the sugar stays. And every time you take a sip, you get a little bite of sugar and a little bit of drink. That's why I think the sugar in the drink is kind of redundant, but that's just me. And that's our lemon drop martini. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the margarita, which is a, one of the most famous old drinks around. It's very popular, served everywhere. Um, there's a million stories floating around where it began. Most of them are around uh, uh, in the 30s, 20s, 30s, 